Are you listening? Hi beauties and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. If you would like to see a brow tutorial, it will be listed down in the description bar below. The first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyelids using the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer. And just taking a synthetic brush and blending that out on my eyelids. And then using my finger as needed as well. The first eyeshadow I'm going to begin with is Saddle by MAC. And I'm just going to build that into my crease. As you can tell, I'm also lifting up my brow just to make sure it is um, evenly blended into everything and it's not choppy or anything. It's really good to lift up the brow. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, just taking little by little and building that on. The next eyeshadow I'm going to use is Swiss Chocolate by MAC. And I'm taking this Morphe brush and it's kind of tapered and pointy a little bit and it's a little bit hard and I like to use it to get into my crease as much as possible because of its dome end. I'm just taking my time blending that into the saddle right below it and then going back in with that same brush I used to put down saddle to blend those two eyeshadows into each other. So the next thing I'm going to take is, I believe this is Hot, no this is Cocoa Bear by Makeup Geek I believe. And I just put that in my outer V and then went back in with that saddle again. And then I'm taking another brown eyeshadow by Tarte Cosmetics Holiday Pad Palette called Hot Cocoa. Um, I'm pretty sure they don't sell it anymore, but it's a really great shade. I don't know if they sell them individually. But I'm just using that same brush to place that in my outer V again. And going in with a clean blending brush to blend all three of those eyeshadows together. So next I'm taking this blush by Mary Kay. I'm not sure of the name, but I will list it down below. And it's really shimmery and pretty. And I've never used it as a blush. I've only used it as an eyeshadow. I'm just taking my time blending that in and going back in with that clean blending brush. Next, I'm going to take this pigment by NYX. I believe it's called Copper. And I'm just placing that right on top of that blush that I just laid down. Just to give it a little bit more of shimmer and a pop. I forgot I had these pigments, but they're really, really pretty. And again, going back in to blend that out. And then I went in with my um, MAC brush and just placed a little black in that outer V. Next thing I'm going to do is take a pencil eyeshadow brush and just sweep a little bit of black on the rim before I apply my lashes and I just stack two Broadway lashes. And that's completely it for the eyes. I decided not to do any winged liner or anything. But um, I'm just going to let you guys watch it from here. If you guys would like to see an in-depth video of my foundation highlight and contour routine, it will be listed down below as well.
do it yourself body glow lotion I'm just going to take a piece of my Becca cosmetic champagne pop and some lotion this will also work well if you have a shimmery pigment and you just take some lotion and a piece of the um, broken highlight that I have or if you have a broken eyeshadow or if you're using a pigment and you just dust it into your hand or break it up and just uh, begin to swirl it into your hand and make your own shimmer lotion this is a great way for you to create your own without going out and paying a lot of money for it and then I just went back in with some more highlight to highlight my collarbone and there you have it some do-it-yourself body glow lotion